welcome to Jafida International and today in this video we are going to continue with our series of getting you the beginner into the act of makeup my name is Jafido and welcome on board so in the, remember we are taking them in steps in the previous steps which is in our other videos um, we will kind of like link them up so it makes sense to you we've done the um, primer we've done the uh, concealer uh, we've done what else did we do we've done the foundation and we've done the loose powder so all those steps carried us up to five now we are at step six where we're going to do the eyeliner and then we're going to follow that up with step seven which is going to do the lipstick and when we finish with that we'll take another take and show you another step going forward so let's take this on eyeliner okay so eyeliner they come in different types there's the liquid eyeliner um i'm not going to worry myself trying to find out what the brand is fast stroke eyeliner liquid eyeliner anyway and then there's the they're a bit like pencil eyeliner they, they do a different job and then we have the colorful eyeliners so the colorful ones that's purple that's green that's blue this these are my three favorite colors um i really love working with them depending on my outfit i could go with any color and then of course there's the white one which kinds of um people like to to use it because what it what they tend to say is allows their eyes to pop out i'll use a hint of all everything so you have an idea what this is about and then of course there's the mascara now remember this is our um, beginner level of makeup and so we're kind of like giving you what the basics will be and you don't have to worry about so many more things so any of this will do um, lots of other people like to stick with just the black they don't want anything too fancy but of course younger people um, I'm not so sure of, uh, okay younger people tend to go with the really bright like the whites just to pop out their eyes and then they put a hint of color but I have my own signature which is I like these colorful ones so today I'm going to go with the blue and then I'm going to use the liquid eyeliner over my eyes the, the line the top of my eyes and then I'll put a hint of mascara so you see what hard that is done so if your eye pencil is not sharp if it's blunt remember just sharpen it a little bit because you don't want it too blunt otherwise it's not going to do a good job for you so what i love about these ones they're so highly pigmented they do the job in like a little stroke okay so your pencil's ready and then you kind of like open your eyes a little bit and line them in So you can see what's happened there. I mean, sometimes even when I do my makeup removal, which is probably a video I'll do another day, um, sometimes my eyeliner still stays there. It wouldn't go. But of course, it's up to you how you do it. So you see that one eye done, and then you repeat that same action on the other eye. I like that effect of that blue eye kind of person. I love it. And you know they got all these different colorful um, eye. These days people are just wearing different colors of eyes. So a hint of blue eyeliner will not hurt in any form. Or let's say you wear a greenish kind of, you wore a green outfit, you could go with the green. That particular one just luckily these particular ones come with their own sharpener so you can just sharpen it immediately um today i'm not green so i'm not going to worry about that and sometimes i go with the purple my kids really love the purple when i use the purple i'm not going to worry too much about that as well don't feel like it right now so those are the colors now if you wanted to pop the eyes a little bit which younger people love to do 
this particular one, I have no idea how I'm going to sharpen this, but that's how it came. So I just play around with it. I put a little bit of it in the inner eye. And do the same on the other side. And not too much. What it tends to do is ideally brighten your eyes. Now this too, this is where, no, this particular one is where lots of people are struggling friend in particular who inspired me to do this video and she said I'm not even going to try and she actually gave that to me she said you can have it because I've not tried since I got it this is the trick when you start using this watch what you do do them in little strokes not too much eyes a bit down and you go yeah in little bits And why I, I can do this is I was struggling as well like everybody else until somehow I went for a crash course um, It wasn't just for eyes, but it was part of the things they taught and the lady said yes We know people are struggling Don't try and take everything in one stroke because when you do that you don't get it right So you see how I'm just taking little bits little steps So it's like joining the dots. That's what well, that's what's going on here. So you kind of like, ooh, I close my eyes and make it smudge. I'll fix that. Join the dots. Join the dots. Join the dots. Yeah. So now if if that was you, you are not going to use eyeshadow, you, you can go back now and fix that little problem. But if you're going to use eyeshadow, you really will not be there to do anything because eyeshadow will block that. And if you're looking, you will notice this crease that I talked about. It tends to try and come back. So you can just take the dry powder and just sure it takes away that problem and the reason is because I, I'm I'm in a studio with lights everywhere and I'm sweating and it's creating that um one day I'll do another video that that works with when you're sweating when you have problem with sweating um, because there are times you're in a very hot climate and uh, that happened to me when I was away um, for my niece's wedding and the weather was so hot and um, I finished my makeup and what a mess at the, at the traditional wedding I'm going to the ladies room and I'm seeing my makeup in different areas and I'm thinking what is going on here so the next day when we had the church wedding I fixed that and I'll show you how I did that in another video so that's that done and I'm going to repeat the same action on the other side to get this in place. But this is the liquid one. Let me just immediately use the, the, the dry one or the pencil one. So the same way I did that, um, this one is a lot easier for most people. You can actually start from the beginning and go slowly again on top of, just follow it. see that so these are okay for beginners you don't need to worry because it will not smudge why these are really good you're gonna find out later why it's good to put the eyeliners if you're gonna wear mascara and um, no mascara um, lashes in particular but then again they do their own work on their own they don't you don't have to worry about that and while I'm here I'll quickly do the mascara so that um, With a liquid liner again on this side and I'm just going to repeat what I've done because usually with makeup, once you do one thing, you do do it on the other side as well. Don't do it on one side. Um, and for most people, this is where the eye liner 
business will be done. You don't have to worry about anything again. It's done. Okay, so both sides done. Eyes. Now the next phase is put the mascara, not mascara, uh, mascara on. I lifted the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, mascara. Um, get a good brand. Uh, there's so many, so many brands out there, but I haven't been really uh, much of a mascara wearer because I put a lot of eyelashes on. So when you have eyelashes, you don't need mascara. But let's let's pretend you're so new you don't know how to use your mascara. I mean your lashes. So that's why I'm doing the mascara part. But luckily this is a good brand. Uh, can't remember. Lash Hero it says. Oh from Body Shop. Mm, I thought that bought that for me. Um, so and you you get some brands called Lacombe, but just so many brands. It, Mascara is one of those ones that is so highly advertised. I find, I find that weird because um, they are seeming everybody got long lashes. That's one thing I don't have. Um, there are different ways you can grow your lashes, people say. Um, one of my clients, she actually gets some tablets that she drinks that helps her lashes to grow really quickly. But you know me, I, I, don't, I don't fight nature for anything, seriously. Um, when people come and complain about different things about their body, I, everything nature's given me, I'm happy with because I can walk around them, and that's that's the honest truth for me. I can wear lashes, I can play with my eyebrows, and uh, I don't worry about the different shades of my face because I can use the color corrector, and so I I don't complain. I just work with myself. I work with what I have. So that's what it should be. Uh, so some people say, I want to grow my lashes. I want to grow my lashes. And then they get, uh, one of the oils people use is castor oil. So if you, the trick is put the castor oil in a little old mascara bottle. And then just like you're applying your mascara, you take a bit of the castor oil and you play around with it. And uh, my, my, my little girl swears by Vaseline. She says, mom, if you put a, a bit of Vaseline on your lashes, it grows. <laughs> I don't know how realistic that true that is because Vaseline is petroleum, it doesn't do any work. But if you use um, castor oil, which I've heard so many people swear by that it works for them, that will help you grow your lashes. Uh, but if you're like my clients, you need to buy those tablets, which are quite expensive. And your lashes will grow. But I don't worry about lashes, like I've said, because I, I put the artificial ones. So that's mascara done. And how did I use it? You just put it on and you kind of lift your lashes up. I think I was about to just stop. So it goes from under and up, under, up, under, up. Um, when I went to my crash course and she goes, take it from top and lift it up. Top, lift, top, lift, and then push from under again. You see the difference? Um, remember, I haven't got much of lashes, so. but that's it. Um, lashes done. Yes, I think it's showing now. I can see it. So, so that will be you and your lashes. If you don't want to try that with your lashes, and you don't have to worry about anything again regarding that. So we're gonna go into our lipstick now. Okay guys, um, we're going into lipstick now. And again, hey, lipstick is one area that it's such a big thing for makeup. Um, I got this little pouch full of different colors of lipstick. Lipstick you put on depending on what you're wearing. Um, there are people who just say, I hate red lipstick, I hate blue lipstick, I hate green lipstick. So you just hear all kinds of things they don't like. So this is a hint of purple. Um, 
it's so interesting and this is like a bit of dark uh, ox ox brown or ox blood I'll move this away if it's look okay so this is a bit of dark I actually do like this one it's one of my favorite lipsticks so maybe I should try that one again. yes because I think what I'm wearing will go well with that so this is a hint of uh, purple um, these ones which are these this in particular is one of the ones I wear like every day when I go out again a bit dark ish I don't know when I started being more of a dark lipstick person but red used to be my favorite lipstick red any day you heard about the red lipstick thing some women just love red lipstick so they just come in various colors one of the biggest current ones is the nude look lots of people oh this is this did it this didn't create a new look uh before i finish this particular video i'll show you some nude ones which i bought but i haven't really gotten into the nude this is purple and it's mac so you can hear different brands um recently when i traveled this was one of the anesthesia is one of the big names in lipstick and just one lipstick was like $25 or something like that. This is a pink one, really, really bright pink. And uh, I was like, okay, wow, they're kind of expensive. Another brand that was really huge at some point is ColourPop. ColourPop, I have so many, I have a pack of them as well. They're quite expensive as well. This was a, a pink one. Um, so, Mark. Colourpop, Anastasia, and then as many different brands as Kiko as well. Oh, uh, look at that. That's a really purple one. This is a really nice one. I think what I'm wearing is purple. So I'll play with purple and that dark. So that's what I tend to kind of like play with colours as well. Just see by now you know the way I think. I kind of like mix things up. This is purple again. But I work with those two purples. I'm just trying to find there's there's a black one I have which was so weird that I, I, I did buy it when I saw it. Okay, I like a hint of craziness. Um this is a kind of like dark 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 red. Let me see. Maybe I've lost that black. No, I had it. This is a really bright red, hmm, which I did run out of red and I thought I didn't have any more red. But that's a bright, so I could keep that in my daily use. And then you get the light, the the liquid lipstick or lip glosses. This is one. Um, this was Mark as well. Lip gloss is one of the ones that the young ones like to wear. I'm surprised that I can't find my black lipstick. I think this may be it. Yes. There you go. Now that's a bit wild, right? There was a, bit, a picture I took, I took one time and I wore that. So, play with different colors, but remember what I said, some people are very fussy what they wear. Um, they tell you that doesn't suit me, that doesn't suit me. My friend is one of them. She's very fussy what color goes for her. So, depending on what you agree to, to use, they are the ones they call lip liners. Um, lip liners, this is one of them. I actually like this lip liner. Um, there was another color I had as well, which I don't know where it is. Um, but this is like a dark brown of it as well. So I'm going to try this since I want to wear. I'm going to try this since I'm going to wear purple. So what the lip liner does is it lines the lip just like we have the eyeliner. So you line your lip before you put the lipstick on. So let's start doing that now. So. Now what you want to do is just kind of highlight what nature has given you, your natural lip shape. So that's what the liner does. See that? It's kind of locked that off. And then I do the same on the other side.
Now, why the mention is um, there's this thing about matte lipstick and glossy lipstick. Um, all the young people now go crazy for matte lipstick. Matte is just like kind of dry. It's not moving anywhere. So it was when I was putting this on, then I remembered because this is kind of matte as well. It just sits there. Now sometimes you could go out tend to use with the lip liner. Sometimes it, they can actually become the lipstick because they are that good. They are really nicely pigmented. So what that's done now for me is lined the shape of my lip and then I can now follow it up with the lipstick that I want to use. Oh, this is like a really bright purple. Let me try it. So that goes in. Now because I already lined the lips, I'm just within the line part and I'm not overflowing. So that's the beauty of lining your lips. Because if you didn't, what may happen is, as you're putting it with love, as fine lots of people do, the lipstick then goes over their lips. So I put that purple, remember it's a bright purple, I'm, I want to darken it a little bit. So you can play with your lips by going So now you hear when we talked about the, the matte lipstick or the or the um, the glossy lipstick. This is what some people do. They get a bit of tissue. If you don't like the glossiness, you just put it on your lips. See how it's taking away all the shine and it's gone on the tissue. So if you wanted to do that, it's up to you. But most times. I'm fine with glossy. I have no problem with glossy. So you could still play around with it and go, oh, I want to add a bit more color. And that's your lip stuff. So you can you can you can touch whatever combination makes you happy. This is one of my newest one. It's a birthday present from You can guess that all my presents are usually um, makeup. <laughs> I told my kids, I said, yeah, as you grow older, you just want to look after your image. And that's why I don't go asking for anything. I said, what do you want, mom? I just want makeup. And so they are quite happy getting me different types of makeup. I wanted to see what this looks like here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's different. So that's red, because I said I was running out of my red, which is true, but I didn't know that I still had that other red. So anyway, that's lipstick for you. I just want to make this purple, that's another shade of purple that would darken me more. So I want to go a bit brighter. That's the one I used earlier. But I just get it more. So remember, feel free to explore, feel free to play. Um, like I said earlier in, I think the other video, don't let anyone hold you down with rules. This is how it's done, this is how it's done. As long as it's looking nice on you, this is how things are done. This is where you learn new things. People woke up one morning and said, let me try this. And when they tried it, it worked, it became the norm. Everybody got excited with it. So don't sit there and say, until somebody started it, then you do. Just do your own thing. If it looks good on you, stick with it. And I think that's where we stop with this particular one. 
we've done the what did we do in this one we did the lipstick and we did the eyeliners yes so if you love it give us a thumbs up again we want to see your look seriously i'm looking forward to seeing what you've been able to do if you're new to makeup um share it with your friends that you think may be struggling with their makeup um you know what we are all about it's about confidence whatever makes you stand tall and feel good about yourself that's why we are taking time to share this our experience with you so give us a thumbs up uh, like us share our video with your friends subscribe because there's so much more coming and we're gonna see you in the next steps we just finished um step seven remember we're doing 12 steps